what we got. Now this one comes from the latest Bond movie, Casino Royale. Bond is surrounded by bad guys, seemingly no escape. When he spies a propane tank, he whips out his gun and shoots it. Yeah, he's like 20 feet away. He sees a 100-pound propane tank, shoots it with the 9mm. It explodes, and he survives. In the movie, our secret agent hero's got himself in a tight corner. Bond spies a propane tank 20 feet away. He whips out his 9mm Walter P99, fires a shot, sparking a giant fireball that lets him get away. It's a classic Bond maneuver. But is it an escape strategy to gamble your life on? All right, you guys, how do you want to test this one? I think we should start out by getting some empty propane tanks and shooting them with a 9mm just to see if we can pierce them. Now if we can't pierce them, I think we should step up to bigger and bigger guns and keep shooting until we find a gun that can. And once we can pierce the tank, we should fill it with propane and find out if the tank can explode. Alright, sounds like we're going to need a lot of guns and a lot of propane tanks. Tanked up and firing on all cylinders, it's straight to the Alameda bomb range. There's no messing about on this myth. Right away, the team unload an empty canister and put safety shields in place. After all, they all want to die another day, and not today. All right, what's the plan? Well, first off, we need to see if you can penetrate a gas cylinder before we start putting propane in it. I think we should start with the 9mm, because that's what James Bond used in the movie. Perfect. Let's do it. It's a plot even Blofeld couldn't crack. From 20 feet, Carrie's firing the Walter P99 handgun. Same gun Bond used, same distance. But different results. So the first test was with the 9mm. Shot it once, didn't pierce the tank. Shot it a second time, still didn't pierce the tank. And we couldn't get any sort of piercing into this tank. Has the movie myth fallen foul of our gun-toting team already? We pretty much busted this myth already. I mean, in the movie, he's using a 9mm and he punctures the tank. We've shot it twice, haven't been able to puncture it. It's not going to happen. Well, good thing we brought the entire Mythbusters arsenal. Sure is, because after one test, it's not looking good for this Bond movie moment. But in the words of Dr. No, we never fail, Mr. Bond. And we're not leaving without a fireball. Still to come, remote control controversy. You are see everything up until this point. This is my turn. But up next, it's full steam ahead. It's the Mythbusters James Bond special. And Cary Grant and Tori are dancing around the question, could you spark a massive explosion by shooting a propane gas tank just like 007 did in Casino Royale? Well, Bond's nine mil's been blown away. We've shot it twice, haven't been able to puncture it. It's not gonna happen. So, like Bond at the casino, Tori's raised the stakes and reached for the shotgun. See if it made it all the way through. Oh, oh not oh. quite. Check it out. Almost, though. Yeah. But almost is not enough. For a big Bond bang, Carrie reckons they need a gun that can slice through the front and the back of the tank. Next, we're using the 30 6 and I think that this might be the gun that could create the fireball, because I think that bullet is going to penetrate the front and the back of the tank. And I think it might be able to make an entry wound, add oxygen into the environment, and then possibly spark on the way out. Oh, nice shot! Nice shot, Bond! <laughs> well, thank you. The rifles ruptured the tank not once, but twice, at the front and through the back. But where does that leave Mr. Bond and his Walter P99? Well, looks like we can bust the myth right here. I mean, the 9mm that James Bond used doesn't even pierce the tank. Yeah, but we have two weapons that will puncture those tanks, the shotgun and the 30 6 Why don't we take those and shoot a full tank of propane gas and see what happens, see if it blows up into a ball of fire. Well, before we start playing with fire, can we please change out of these completely flammable clothes? Yeah, I'm sick of these monkey suits. There's no monkey business back at the bomb range. Our intrepid trio are dealing with 22 gallons of highly flammable propane, packed at 240 PSI. He 
even the steel tanks got a license to kill. It's a life-threatening scenario, so the tank is staked to the ground, and the team will fire from a safe distance away. You know, one thing would be kind of cool is if we dress up Buster like James Bond, put him 20 feet away and see what happens to him if this thing does explode, because he could potentially get burned up. He sure could, because this round carries shooting a full tank of propane with the high-powered rifle. The reason why the 30 odd 6 might work is because we're using armor-piercing rounds, and that's a piece of steel surrounded by lead. Now, when that bullet goes through the first wall of the tank, the lead could shear away, leaving just the steel. And then when that steel hits that second wall, we could create a spark. The tank's locked and loaded. Buster Bond's standing by, and Carrie's got her gun. Are you ready, Miss Money Penny? Quite ready. Money Penny never packed a piece like this. Three, two, one. The high-speed camera shows the armor-piercing bullets slicing through the cylinder, like Bond at a pajama party, but without the resulting bang. Wow, that's great, but no explosion, no. But right on the money, Penny. The team have the propane tank myth on the run, but can they find the right bullet to blow it away?